Look, whoever tells you life is easy, just know they're bullshitting you, okay? Especially if, you know, they've made it in life. And if they tell you, well, I've had it easy, life is easy, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. It's not true. It's, um, life is not easy. And let me tell you something. If you have made it on the other side of life, uh, you will realize it's a it's a tough experience and if it wasn't supposed to be a tough experience you wouldn't have people that are put on earth to receive their karma um, sometimes i would say life is like um, like a prison or it's like a school whatever way you see fit okay it will teach you it will punish you um, it will enlighten you awaken you uh, it will give you that experience of what it's like to be human. And let me tell you something, being a spirit from a higher dimension put on earth to experience humanity or to experience being human is not for the weak. And let me tell you, those that come to earth to assist, to truly assist, not the fucking fake ones out there, to assist these are ones that that truly know how hard it is to be a human and it will take them years and years and years to um, master being a human or know how the human game works now for those that are being punished on earth that's another story and it's it's like um it's it's self-explanatory really Expla explanatory explanatory you know what I mean. It explains itself. Um, because they're supposed to suffer. They're supposed to suffer. And it's not to, um, you know, um, reduce their value or say they're, they're lesser uh, spirits. No. No. Uh, for those that have been reincarnated on Earth for many, many times, know very well that... Uh, it's not to lesser you, it's to help you expand, help you learn, help you do better next life, so to speak, okay? So, for those that are looking for an easy way to live life, you're wasting your time. You have not learned the lesson of reality, the collective reality. And the moment you start to become entitled to certain treatment, to certain power, to certain position, to certain um, freedom, you're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself. You still have to learn the lesson of change, learn the lesson of temporary gain, temporary loss, learn about acceptance, learn about uh, knowing what's uh, right and wrong in that sense, because um, life isn't about giving you what you want. It's not. It's not. The false illusion of... Um, Okay, like, let me let me level with you, okay? When you want to manifest something, it's not like you ordering food from a restaurant and then this uh, this restaurant will, will give you the exact food that you asked for, right? Manifestation doesn't work like that. If you manifest something or want to manifest something, you will end up manifesting what you need in order to gain the experience or to gain um, a lesson. And in that, you raise your vibration in order to manifest whatever you want. It's not something that uh, you, like in most cases, you will notice yourself. You know, when you want something, you get something else. You have to ask your question, why are you getting that something else? Are you missing something? And there is work to be done. And in that sense, you do the work in order to level up to the vibration where you get what you want when you manifest something specific. So life isn't supposed to be easy. And it's not like I'm not saying that it's not supposed to be easy, then it's hard. No, 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 no. It's not supposed to be easy. 
it's not supposed to be hard. It just is. And are you going to learn to accept your current situation and your condition and work with what you have in order to be able to manifest something that is uh, peaceful, pleasurable, possibly something you seek or similar to what you have been seeking? Life isn't supposed to be easy. And and anyone, anyone that's selling you a dream, that's telling you, yes, tomorrow you will manifest the biggest dream of your life. When you haven't done shit, you don't deserve shit. You won't be manifesting shit either. Just know they're lying to you. Just know they're faking it. Just know they are trying to sell you something in order to uh, basically hook you. You know what drugs do to you? The same effect that drugs do to you, people can do to you too. So if I sell you a dream, if I tell you, yes, just do this, 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 that, and you will manifest the life that you want tomorrow, 12 a.m., when that clock hits 12, you will be living your dream. Ugh. Mm. Mm. If that were, If that was to be true, You wouldn't be consulting people like them to tell you that you will be manifesting something specifically, a dream come true, 12 a.m. Because you know that they're a fake bitch. But it's like I'm like I'm seeing a lot of those around and it's not it's not to name call. It's not I don't give a fuck what people do because there is karma that will play just right in their life. I, I don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything. They are they are kind of creating the, their own karma. They're creating their own recipe of punishment. And that is like um, not important to me because you reap what you saw. If you think life is easy, supposed to be easy, it's not. The only thing that changes when it comes to genuine people saying life is easy, sometimes I will say myself, not other people, sometimes I will say life is easy, life is simple. And it's because I've had to go through hell of experiences to come to that conclusion. That doesn't mean that the way I handled my life is going to be an easy approach for you to handle your life too. Do you understand? So, like, doesn't matter if someone is fake or genuinely stating their perception of things. You have the responsibility to know that life isn't like this fucking fairy tale where it will have a happy ending for you. People will spend lifetimes trying to master a lesson or learn a lesson. There is a balance in life. And if there is easy, there is hard. So, this is just a fucking reminder for you. Life is not easy. In the sense the way people portray it, in the way people advertise it. It's not, it's not. Maybe it was easy for them because they are those, you know, strong-willed spirits. If you have one of those, you can get through anything in life, let me tell you. If you don't and you're fragile and stupid looking for advice and you uh, stumble upon someone saying life is easy life is just you just need to do this and this and you're sorted you're sorted you're done you're you're figured out nah life is not textbook life is not textbook and no matter how many people write about life it is like a fraction of its 
vibration and existence. There is so much to learn continuously that no fucking person is a master. Not truly. Yes, there are masters where they teach spirituality, teach whatever, teach science, teach, teach, teach. But that is not life in its totality. That, that is a narrow perspective. Narrow experience. So if you have someone that says, I have got life figured out. I have mastered living. <sighs> Hate to tell you whether they think it's true or not. It's not true. Okay, it's not true. It's not true. If you know anything about life, you know that the more you know, the less you know. That is something I know for sure. The more you know, the less you actually fucking know. The less you know. And a lot of people will um, get into spirituality when they're not ready for that truth. And you will see them like slowly fucking losing it. Slowly, you know, like... Uh, Losing their shit, losing their life, losing their balance, losing uh, their possessions, losing whatever. Because it's not for the weak. It's not for the weak. If you're wanting to um, look behind the veil, make sure, make sure that you are in a very secure place within you before you do that. Because let me tell you, and I say this out of experience. If you look before you are ready and you think you're ready, mm, 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 mm. it's gonna hurt. You're gonna find yourself <sighs> paying for that arrogance. Let's just say that. And so, okay, so. I'm not going to leave you with this kind of depressing conclusion <laughs> because it's, it's not why I am here, okay? I just want you to be aware, to be realistic, to realize, you know what? The cup is half full and half empty. It's not just half full. It's not just half full. If you say, well, in my reality, I'm going to look at the glass always half full. Good for you. Do keep in mind that you will be put in situations where you feel dumb, where you feel ignorant, where you feel like you cannot handle life for another moment. Or maybe you are a young spirit because a, a young spirit will have that outlook, okay, where like you think, mm, well, it's half full, that's naivete. That's naivete. It's half full, but also half empty. You have to understand the yin, the yin and yang. There is yin and yang. There is balance. There is light and dark. For those that think that are operating only from the light, without the darkness or the acknowledgement, at least, of the darkness, they have not awakened their spirit fully. I don't care what they say. They have not. They have They have so much work to do still. To say the least. They still have a lot of work to do. Maybe a few, lifetime, a few lifetimes to realize that truth. So, if you find yourself, oh, I am a dark person. Okay, you're just an idiot. Even if you say, oh, I'm just a light person. You're an idiot. You're both. You are both. Okay. And in that, there is so much confusion, so much back and forth, so much fluctuation of the energy vibration. And it's okay. It's okay when that happens. 
It's okay. You don't know what light is without dark. You don't know what dark is without light. So stop suppressing parts of you that do not align with the agenda that you want to portray yourself as publicly or around people you care about or whoever. It's fake. It's not authentic. It's fake. Okay. Whenever someone tells you, I know everything there is in life. I just know everything. They don't. They don't. They don't. Even like, okay, so for example, sometimes I don't know what to do in a situation. So I get in touch with my intuition. I go outside of my body to gain an answer, to get uh, like a perspective, uh, to tap into someone else's knowledge for me to um, kind of like study, look at, reflect on. And that's how I get my knowing. Like, um, sometimes, like you said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what this situation is. I don't know what type of energy this is because there is no experience behind it. So what I do is I tap into my knowing. The knowing of not myself, but others. Other spirits, other humans, other something. That have experienced what I know is what I am experiencing now. You see, so I learn from them. I watch them. I see how that affected them, how that impacted them, how that um, changed the way they handle things. Because I can see through or into people. Okay, so that makes it easy for me to tap into my empathy and to kind of like investigate their energy or even to some extent uh, invade their privacy of knowledge or their privacy of knowing each person has that okay that is another way for you to deal with a situation that you don't know how to deal with or something that you haven't experienced before okay so there is the knowing which which people call um clear cognizant i think <clears throat> okay and in a lot of situations in my own life i have applied that and it does help but it's not always enough, okay? Because there are so many details that your experience of something is almost unique, like your fucking fingerprint. So you can get as close as when, even when you have the knowing, okay? So it's important to know that it's not a simple process. It's not supposed to be a simple process. Otherwise, we wouldn't have humanity struggle to ascend. We wouldn't have that. If he was easy, we wouldn't have that struggle that we have been trying to eliminate for centuries. I say centuries lightly for who, however long humanity has lasted on Earth over and over again, resurrected over and over again. So, I don't know if I am Neo today or um, Agent whatever, you know, <laughs> I think I look like the Agent, the, the Agent, Agent, Agent in the, in the movie more than Neo, right? <laughs> but uh, like the eyes, like today I'm like really sensitive to light. Um, I haven't had that for a while, so I'm not sure why today, so... Uh, like I'm, I'm sitting like surrounded by light, but my living room is dark. So you can see how strong this light is. A friend of me all around me. So I needed those sunglasses for those that are wondering, but this is just to talk you guys. This is just like a friendly reminder. Like don't, don't be fooled and think life is supposed to be easy because it's not, it's not, and that's okay. It's all part of the journey, part of the experience. 
And if you catch yourself, like, um, you know, not feeling good enough, not feeling like you've made it, or not feeling like, uh, you know, something is not working out for you, just... Just know that this is this is what life is about. Stop stressing about life and what's not working. Now, I'm not saying that you should give up and stop trying, but you sh you shouldn't have to be stressed while you're doing it. And yes, I know it's easier said than done, but it like a mere flickering awareness will change everything. Like I'm not telling you that life is easy because I'm ex I'm telling you the opposite. I'm telling you that life is not supposed to be easy, but you don't have to spend your life stressing. People actually think that, you know, if you have money, things will just pff, work out for you. Like, that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Dumbest shit. Yes, money can help. But the more you have accumulated money, it, your responsibilities will increase. You don't just have money. It's energy. What are you fucking giving in order to get that much money? Right? And of course, good or bad, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. If you find yourself making money on what is perceived to be a bad business or an immoral business, then that is your karma, bitch. I don't care. I don't care. Some people will say, oh, well, I wouldn't take that money. It's tainted, bitch. It's not your karma. Did you participate in it? You know what I mean? So, uh, for example, a lot of people demonize tarot. Okay, let's talk about that. They demonize tarot. It's okay. They probably have uh, caught... Uh, a fake or two, and then labelized all the tarot readers as, um, you know, like demons, right? But that didn't stop me from doing tarot, because I know myself, right? They can think whatever they want. I know myself. So, it's it's like, whatever you do in life, just know that you do have to have clear intentions because it, the mere thought of doing something to harm someone else or to harm yourself, because even if you harm yourself, there is punishment for that, by the way. So even those that think of suicide and think, oh, it's the easy way out. No, bitch, you're coming back and paying for that. I don't have sympathy for people that take their own life. Um... I don't give a fuck if you disagree. It's, it's my true opinion. Last time I checked, freedom of speech still applies. If you, if you refrain from using certain words. But honestly speaking, no one gets away with shit. Okay, just keep that in mind. Um, you worrying what others do, it's not going to get you anywhere. Because no one gets away with it. A lot of people think they have to police each other when really... No one gets away with it. You have to understand that. You have to understand that. You have to believe that. And I, I guess, I guess, if you, if you haven't really experienced... I don't know, if you, if you haven't experienced life over and over again... Um, I'm assuming that you, you don't really know if that's true and that's okay. But because I have seen it over and over again play out the same way, there is a pattern. And wherever there is a pattern, there is a fact. Okay. I always say a fact is an occurrence or a reoccurrence or it's a pattern that keeps repeating. And that's, that makes it a fact. 
Okay. When you have reoccurring things happening, it's a fact. It's not. It's 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 not like a, an opinion anymore. Okay. So. Just be, just, just, just have that, just take it easy. I want to say take it easy on yourself because a lot of people are so tough on themselves. Uh, they think because, you know, their friend uh, made it or they have so much pressure from society because this is a fast paced reality. And people are struggling with mental illnesses and depression. It's it's all because of a of a an idea that resulted in that. I feel like the reason why people feel so misunderstood is because they are only half validated. And you know, I don't care for the false validation that's going out there. I'm going to call you crazy, I'm going to call you this or that, and that will validate you. No, it doesn't. It encourages you to be more of a whatever, that discomfort that you're feeling. You're not permanent. You can change. You can change your chemical uh, patterns in your brain by switching a thought. And if I convince you that you are a worthless piece of shit, and I tell you over and over again, but that's okay. Then you continue on becoming a worthless piece of shit. And that is not good for you, is it? It's not really helping you solve the problem. It's basically putting band-aid on an open wound and telling you that it'll heal. It's not even telling you that it'll heal. It's just telling you, well, if if the band-aid is not good enough, just put another band-aid, put another band-aid, put a put put another put another put another put, put it. There is so much suffering because people have unrealistic idea about living. So unrealistic. And I'm like the way I think people are being unrealistic is that they are either seeing the glass half empty or the glass half full, never both. And that's 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 quite annoying. How can you how can you make a right judgment when you only see one side of the story? Like for example, imagine someone was prosecuted without the second party, without the other party that was involved. Where is the justice in that? Where is the whole picture that will result in a just decision? Same thing with your life. Same thing. Same little, same dumb thing. You have to see both sides. You have to recognize that the glass is half empty and half full. I posted like a, a quote yesterday about detachment on my Instagram. I suggest you go and have a look. I think if you relate to this type of information, you will agree with that statement. I think a lot of people agree. I think there are more people that are having an increase of awareness. And that is such a great thing to see. I love it. I love it. I do truly love it. Um, but I think I have to remind you because there's like, I, I, could, I keep seeing people either, you know, thinking life is la 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 la. And then the other half is like doom and gloom, the end of the world, blah, 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 blah. Life is a balance. Life is a balance. Just remember that whenever you're going through a tough situation, don't look, don't look at that situation as half empty. Look for the other half. And even when you're going through something good in your life, 
look at the other half. It will help you gain perspective like no before. I feel like, I mean, I think I've talked about that long enough now, but I guess I'll stop here. It just it, like the reason why I record this is because I am an I am an observer. I observe a lot of people, and I observe without them knowing. I can like I can I can see someone inside out before I see their outside in. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so I I could see a lot of opposition and i don't mean opposition whatever the subject is i see opposition in perception i would say or perspective like people are so they are either left or right you need to be both in order to get the full picture you can't decide which one is right, which one is wrong. If you can't see both sides. Imagine like, you know when you hear like gossip about someone and they tell you, oh, this person is this and that, blah, 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 blah. and then you actually meet the, 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 this so-called person. And you're like, oh, you're not as bad as they say. See what I mean? So you have to know the full picture before you make a decision, before you um, form a thought. And if you find yourself, you have an opinion, specific opinion about something, just, just try not to adopt it. Just try not to make that part of you. Just, okay, so you see an like you see something, let's say, you have an opinion, you keep that opinion to yourself until you have the opposition of that opinion. And then you have another opinion, and then you put them together, and then voila, balance. That can help you understand so many of, of life, life's lessons like no other. The only downside to it is it will give you this much grace, okay? Like, it will give you grace. Too early, if you ask me. I've had my grace since I was 18. My first gray hair came through here. But now, can't hide them anymore. For those that are wondering if I just dye my hair on this side, it's not. It's henna. But... You guys, like, life is not supposed to be easy. And if you see people that are going through life with such a grace, such a, you know, like they're, they're, they're still like pumping and full of life and they're healthy, they're good. It's because they are a tough motherfucker. I don't care, male, female. I don't care for that nonsense. Okay. They're strong, strong-willed, strong-spirited. Okay. And just know they have kind of like obtained this peace with like a lot of experience. It doesn't peace doesn't just come to you. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't just come to you. It, in fact, it doesn't come to you ever. It is. It 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 comes from you. You will only feel peace, not surrounded by peace, but being peaceful yourself. And how do you accomplish this peacefulness? By being realistic. Realistic is not saying emotionless. Realistic is saying there is the glass. It is half full, but it is also half empty 
that is that. That is how you go through most life lessons with, I, I don't want to say ease, but that easiness comes to you through acceptance of both sides existing, coexisting. In fact, they're necessary for each other because in the absence of one, the other disappears. The other goes away as well. The other is also, like, you have to have both sides. Simple as that, okay? Be like this little dragon. <laughs> the dragon is dangerous. The dragon, just because the dragon has a uh, fire breath, doesn't go out there and... Uh, Burn everything. Be like a meditating dragon, like the one we saw just now. <laughs> I'll leave you this. I'll leave you with this. I don't know, like, why I needed to come and talk to you about this. But I guess, I guess, you know, it's just one of those. Hopefully this helped someone slightly than without this. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will be uh, doing some readings after. We'll see you then.